look at it again. And we've got one here from Prager U. Shout out to Prager U. Make sure you guys go subscribe to their YouTube channel and show them some major love. All right. It's been a while since we checked out a Prager U video. Actually, yeah, it's been it's been quite some time. It's been quite some time. I I, I guess it is about time that we um circle back. <laughs> like, share, comment, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and uh, let's dive in. What's up, you guys? This is Aldo with PragerU. The California Air Resources Board passed a new rule that would require 100% of new vehicle sales be zero emission by the year 2035. We're here to ask people how they feel about this rule. Let's do it. How do you feel about this ruling? Um, I'm definitely a proponent of that ruling, oh. and we really like the electric vehicle. Yeah, for sure. I, I don't think there's a reason why that shouldn't happen. Like, I think that's that's really great. That's moving in the right direction, yeah. you know. I mean, I, I think in theory it, it makes sense. You know, I mean, that that's great if they can accomplish that. We need to be more progressive on electric vehicles. Yeah. Like, getting rid of gas. What do you think of when you hear zero emission? Clean air. Clean air for the future. Sure. Over 60% of the energy that provides the, the power to these electric vehicles comes from fossil fuels. Right, so is, do you think it's really fair to call it zero emission when 60% of the energy is coming from fossil fuels anyway? I don't think it's fair to call it a zero emissions per se, but I, I don't think that necessarily discredits like any pushes towards like increasing the amount of electric vehicles and like stuff like that. To say zero emissions. <laughs> I checked out a YouTube short. Uh, oh man, how long ago was that? Oh goodness gracious, this was probably some months ago now at this point. But there was a lady standing outside of a building and she was, you know, bragging about the the electric car that they had there and you know the 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 reporter guy asked her you know hey where, where do you guys get the power from and she said uh we, we just plug into this building here you know the building that they were standing outside of it might have been like an apartment building I, I don't remember uh it was a brick building for those of you that remember that youtube short um you can comment below but um yeah he was like no well, where does the building get the power from and one of the guys who ran the power plant, you know, for the area happened to be there because I guess it was like some type of event or whatever. And and she said from blah, blah, blah company, you know, and she pointed to the guy. So the reporter walked over to the guy who ran the power plant. He was like, well, how do you guys get your power? <laughs> and I'll tell you what. He didn't say uh, wind turbines or, uh, you know, <laughs> any any solar panels or anything like that. <laughs> and the look on her face was just hilarious. My goodness. But that's that's part of the equation that these folks who love electric cars don't ever consider. Where are you getting your electricity, you bozo? You think electricity just falls out of the sky? Well, I guess technically it does kind of fall out of the sky during the storm, but... That's neither here nor there. You you, you got to generate electricity somehow. It's not all coming from solar panels and, and wind turbines. Hmm? Oh, what do you know? Not so clean after all, huh? Uh, but then also, e even if you want to break it down further, uh, as far as my understanding goes of making and building electric vehicles, those batteries don't fall out of the sky. And as far as I know, I could be wrong, but as far as I know, they're not recyclable either. So those batteries just go into a landfill. That's not great as far as far as my understanding goes. Now, anybody with more information on that can comment below in the comment section. But uh, those batteries, the, 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 uh, the, the, the stuff to make them has to be mined, dug out of the earth huge mines i'm sure you guys have seen the videos in africa of, of, of people uh and kids in in one of the videos that i saw personally uh digging some of that stuff out of the ground <laughs> don't look very clean to me i'm just saying and then you got to take into account how are you getting that stuff over to the plant to put it all together and then how are you getting that car over to america because the components or the, the minerals that are mined or whatever, they're in Africa. 
That's California. How are you getting that vehicle or even the components to make the vehicle to California? Do we have electric planes? Hmm? Nope. As far as I know, we don't. Do we have um, electric boats? Big shipping containers? Hmm, no. As far as I know, no. So, um, not so clean after all, huh? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, let's continue on. It's kind of a, a dumb thing, you know what I mean? Because it just means more emissions somewhere else. So is it really zero emission or is it shifting the emissions? It's shifting, right. for sure. And so when you think about this, this whole push for electric vehicles, they often tell us it's to reduce global greenhouse emissions. But right now, you know, China is responsible for 32% of global greenhouse gas emissions, whereas the United States is only 12%. And when you look at the breakdown of greenhouse gas emissions, it's transportation only accounts for 16%, whereas industry as a whole, manufacturing and food, that accounts for 43%, and agriculture and forestry accounts for 33%. So these are big chunks. And so does it make sense for us to change our lifestyles and to completely cut off the sale of combustion vehicles when it's such a small amount of the greenhouse gas emissions? I think it's a reality we need to move out from fossil fuels, you know? I'm, I, I don't know what to say, like, I mean, at least we need to change that mindset, you know? It's about changing the mindset. I can tell you, to you don't know what to say. He, what he said went in one ear and out the other. He's sticking to the script. <laughs> We got to have electric vehicles. We got to even know what you said, what you just said. We got to have electric vehicles. Are using more sustainable ways, you know? Right. When an electric vehicle comes off of the production line, it's already responsible for over 25,000 pounds of carbon dioxide emissions compared to 16,000 pounds for a traditional combustion engine. And over the lifetime of an electric vehicle, it will only emit three to five tons less carbon dioxide than a combustion engine. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? I think on the other hand, you also need to think about how we're getting our gas, because you're saying like, it's kind of, I think gas is still worse. <laughs> but 60% of the, uh, the power for electric vehicles is coming from those gases anyway. Mm -hmm. So then maybe the focus goes back on, well, how do we create more efficient energy and whether that's nuclear or hydro. So on the other side, battery is going to be like, not really good for the environment, you know, because right. the materials you're going to use. Ah, uh, but yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> right. While this is a very ambitious um, and you could say virtuous goal, do you think it may be a little bit too simplistic to just say, let's stop the sale of combustion vehicles by 2035? Yes, absolutely. Does it surprise you that a third of the carbon dioxide emissions in electric vehicles comes from the production of the vehicle yeah, itself? That's definitely surprising. I haven't heard that stop yeah. before. But yeah. yeah. Of course you haven't, because you probably watch MSNBC and, uh, they aren't going to tell you the truth. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah, that's interesting. I've I haven't heard that either. That's like <laughs> So did I did I make you guys think a little bit today about Yeah, for definitely. sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, you guys, that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Let us know what you think about EVs in the comments below. Be sure to follow me and Prager you on all social medias, and just so you don't miss out on any more videos like this, head on over to the App Store and download the Prager you app. See you guys oh, in the next video. We got an app. Wow. That's a that's a strong water. It's that good LA tap water, you guys. Uh, 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 I forgot where he was at. <laughs> but did you see how strong that, that water fountain was? I mean my goodness. Sheesh, that thing was spraying about three feet. Sheesh Luis. Normally you got the water fountains that like barely come out over the thing. <laughs> She's Louise, but uh, shout out to Prager U um, in educating these folks on the actual truth. Because, of course, like I said, MSNBC isn't going to tell these guys and gals the truth. Mainstream media isn't going to tell them the truth. Mainstream media is going to gloss over the fact that, hey, by the time you actually receive that electric vehicle, it's already technically, you know, put out all types of emissions when you consider the production of that of said vehicle. And one thing that you guys aren't really thinking about is where that power is actually coming from. Like, it's not all coming from solar panels and wind turbines. Like, that, that's, that's not the case. So, like, what, what are we even talking about here? And then on top of that, 
you got to consider these other countries that don't really care as much about uh, saving the planet. You know, we're at, I think he said 12%. China's at 30%. So, yeah, let's let's say we, we reduced ours to zero. Well, you still got China over there at 30. So, um, how does that change a whole lot that, that we deleted 12%? I mean... I, I, I guess 12 is better than nothing, but in the grand scheme of things, was it really worth it? Just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, y'all let me know what you thought about this craziness in the comment section below. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.